Veterans Day recognizes all the men and women who've served in the military. Local veterans, including some who fought during World War II, were honored today. Heidi Clotter has the story. Veterans are brave individuals who put their lives on the line for their country. These men and women are thanked at special events for their services every year on Veterans Day. You know, it doesn't matter which branch of service or what theater they might have served in, but um, it's just for us, it's, it's bringing those veterans together and, and giving purpose to the work that we're doing. Air Corps Aviation in Bemidji restores World War II aircrafts like this one. It was the perfect place to pay tribute to veterans. Remembering people that need to be remembered. Harry Settle retired from the Navy after serving 22 years. This was one of many events he attended today. We started this morning at uh, Lincoln Elementary School. Basi they, uh, we presented the colors and were basically shown honors by the students there. His son Chris was also at the event and appreciates sharing this moment with his father. His dad was in also and uh, he passed a few years ago but you know, being able to spend spend time, I mean, the military is a close family and it's even tighter when it's literally your family. Veterans from different backgrounds shared stories and were happy to see one another. They all came together for a group photo and received thank you cards too. Thank you for your service. After serving 42 years in the Air Force and International Guard, John Quatter is hopeful for the future as a veteran. A lot of people coming back from uh, the, our two last wars and, and uh, they really need a lot of help and I think they're they, they, they need to be um, foremost in our mind. This was a big thank you to all veterans. In Bemidji, Heidi Clotter, Lakeland News. Yes, indeed. Big thank you from all of us here at Lakeland Public Television to our, our very, very important veterans. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.